Welcome to Astoran, a cutting-edge biotech company that provides human tissue for drug research. In the last year, the lab's stock has more than doubled, from $13 a share to $27 now. Silicon Valley headquarters, right? Not exactly. When you tell people you're doing high-tech work in downtown Detroit, the people look at you kind of funny? Yeah, they're shocked. <laughs> um, really? No. In Detroit? Not just any part of Detroit, but Tech Town, a five-story former General Motors building where the Corvette was designed. The hope now is that Tech Town will be the birthplace of Detroit's next great idea. What did it look like when you started? It was Tesla. When Randall Charlton made Astoran, Tech Town's first tenant nine years ago, this run-down, beat-up neighborhood was the last place you'd have figured for a renaissance. Even the pigeons were flying in pairs for security purposes. Now it's home to 90 companies. When businesses come here, new businesses, yeah. what do they get? They get more than a bill for the rent every month. What they get is a supportive environment. All designed to reverse the flood of jobs lost in Detroit. Unemployment now top 16%. Tech Town is setting a high bar. The goal is to grow 400 new companies during the next three years. That's one every three days. But the truest measure of success will be the number of jobs created outside this building for a city that desperately needs them. Carla Walker Miller started her energy company at Tech Town three years ago. She's now building a $10 million biodiesel plant that'll mean 15 jobs now, maybe 30 in a year. Right here in the middle of a bombed out neighborhood in Detroit. Where no one's building and some people don't even want to drive through. <laughs> people say, well, hell, if they can do it in Detroit and they got down pretty low, maybe we can do it elsewhere. If that happens, it'll be move over Motown. Here comes Tech Town. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Detroit.